Don't hurt me. Is there something specific you wanted? And what if I am? That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. Sith is not a banter, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem. You demand. Why would I listen to you? I'll do as I please. You should not toy with people's lives. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. You talk to Meckle? No, there can't be! You're wrong! Leave. Leave me just, just a few. Corner, you be one. He asked. You You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a Sith. You must be admitted to the Academy. That decision must be made. The final decision, however, remains with Master Yuthura. I believe she is currently at the cantina. Something you need, Jedi. Make it good for us. You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all, willing to abandon that. Who am I? You must not have been in Korriban for very long. Either that or you have been feeling your way about blindly. Luckily for you, I am in a charitable mood. I am Yuthuraban, second only to Master Uthar of the Sith Academy here in Dresde. I am the one who decides which of the few of the many hopefuls who travel here to train actually become a Sith. Why? Is it your desire to enter the Academy? Is that why you are Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot... Obviously you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. Perhaps none. Perhaps all the difference in the world. 
Either way, you possess enough raw power to intrigue me greatly. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Hmm. A strange response indeed. Is your mind maladjusted in some way? I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? I... yes. Yes. We are only servants to the... the Master. There is something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Are you? I can see into your heart, young human, and I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout... Re now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full... My pupil, Uthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth. Gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it, the rest is for you to discover. Welcome. Ah, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Absolutely. 
By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Reaching that map as they did is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to... Well, let's just say he wouldn't like the... I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint. About myself. I am originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master. You have... Master always says I'm too trust. Uh, no, no, I really can't. Huh? A Sith. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone. Well, I, 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 I shouldn't trust you. I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now. I... But where would I go then? What would I do? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I never really thought about it. Maybe I should seek it out. Give it a try. Acknowledgement. What?
Affirmative. Unsuccessful attempt. Yes. Yes. What? What is it? Yes? What do you wish? You... You? I remember you from the co- A duel. Fine. You run along and get ready while I go gain some prestige. Idiot.
Woohoo! If it isn't the freak from the colony. Hello, freak. And go into the dueling room. <laughs> I've got better things to do than give you a fair fight. You can count on. Greetings, young one. You do? That is most in- Hmm. How ironic that I recently had his vessel scrapped for parts, then. I had assumed it had been thoroughly scanned. Apparently not. Still, you have done well in bringing me information that others could not un- Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matter- Oh? It is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds, or bring me a suitably valuable artifact from the Valley of the Dark Lords. Really, however, you should seek out Euthura and get her advice. She is your trainer, after all, yes? Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. <laughs> 